What kind of crime is so horrendous it leads to federal action? The Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act now punishes such hate crimes, and today we're diving into a murder hidden for decades in Mississippi's history. Hello Book Foxes! Welcome to At The Book Fox Summaries we bring you captivating books from all genres simplified for your busy life one summary at a time. Today we're diving into The Barn, The Secret History of a Murder in Mississippi by Wright Thompson. Published in 2024, this gripping true crime book uncovers a murder mystery that lay unsolved for decades. A true crime gem, The Barn is an exploration of justice, race, and the law in the South, drawing acclaim for its detailed research and storytelling. Wright Thompson's family farm in Mississippi is 23 miles from the site of one of the most notorious and consequential killings in American history. The book tells the chilling story of a murder in a barn in Mississippi in the 1950s. The crime shocked the community but over time it was buried, until new evidence decades later brought it back to life. In August 1955, two men, Roy Bryant and J.W. Milam, were charged with the torture and murder of the 14-year-old Emmett Till in Money, Mississippi. In fact, Wright Thompson reveals, at least nine people can be placed at the scene, which was inside the barn of one of the killers, on a plot of land within the six-square-mile grid whose official name is Township 22 North, Range 4 West, Section 2, West Half, fabled in the Delta of Myth as the birthplace of the blues on nearby Dockery Plantation. The heart of the story is the pursuit of justice in a society where racial tensions often interfered with the truth. The conflict between truth and denial is woven through every chapter. Main characters, the victim, Emmett Till, a 14-year-old black boy who was brutally murdered in 1955 for allegedly whistling at a white woman. The investigator, Wright Thompson himself, plays a significant role in uncovering long-hidden truths as he retraces the steps of the investigation. Roy Bryant and J.W. Milam, the two men accused of murdering Emmett Till. They were acquitted by an all-white jury but later confessed to a journalist, providing a false account of the crime, the town the people of Mississippi who either kept the town's secrets or sought justice. The book delves into racial injustice, the flaws in the legal system, and the consequences of silence in the face of crime. It also highlights the power of investigative journalism in bringing forgotten stories to light. While set in the 1950s, the themes of racial tension, unequal justice, and truth-seeking are still highly relevant today, reflecting broader societal issues that persist. Key Phrases The truth is buried deeper than the bodies. This phrase encapsulates the central theme of the book, which is about uncovering long-hidden secrets in a community that has been complicit in its own silence. Justice isn't just blind, sometimes it's deaf and dumb, a powerful reflection on how the legal system failed the victim. This quote highlights the systemic issues that allowed the crime to go unsolved for so long. In Mississippi, the past isn't dead, it's not even past. A nod to the ever-present influence of history in the South, this phrase underscores how the region's dark history continues to shape its present. Personal Insights This book is not just a story of a murder but an examination of systemic issues that shaped the South for generations. The emotional weight of the story is amplified by Mitchell's relentless pursuit of the truth. The detailed research and personal investment of the author make the book a compelling read, though its intense subject matter may not be for everyone. So, to wrap things up, let's go over the key points. The Barn is a powerful exploration of crime, race, and justice, offering profound lessons for today's readers. If you're keen on true crime or Southern history, this book is an absolute must-read for its insights into the darker aspects of American history. The events that occurred in 1955 give rise to the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act that is a United States federal law which defines lynching as a federal hate crime, increasing the maximum penalty to 30 years imprisonment for several hate crime offenses. It was passed by the U.S. House of Representatives on February 28, 2022, and U.S. Senate on March 7, 2022, and signed into law on March 29, 2022, by President Joe Biden. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What do you think? Could a forgotten crime like this still happen today? Let's talk about it in the comments. If this book aligns with your interests, grab your copy through the link in the description. Your support helps us bring you more book summaries. And here's a little bonus tip for those who made it to the end. If you're interested in more gripping true stories, check out our summary of A Deep Dive Into Knife by Salman Rushdie. It's a deep dive into the psychology of crime that you won't want to miss. Thanks for joining us, Book Foxes. 
If you enjoyed this summary, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more books simplified for your busy life. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Books Simplified, Minds Amplified. See you in the next summary.